हेलो ऑल दिस इज आयुषी एंड चंदन वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन सेडल पॉइंट प्रॉब्लम इन नॉन कॉन्वेक्स ऑप्टिमाइजेशन एंड इट्स सॉल्यूशन यूजिंग लीनियर एल्जेब्रा कॉन्सेप्ट द आउटलाइन ऑफ द वीडियो इज एज फॉलोस इंट्रोडक्शन कंपैरिजन बिटवीन मेथड्स जनरलाइज्ड ट्रस्ट रीजन मेथड एंड सॉल्यूशन टू आवर प्रॉब्लम यूजिंग लीनियर एल्जेब्रा कॉन्सेप्ट मिनिमाइजेशन In convex function, minim finding minima is not a problem. Local minima is same as its global minima. But in non-convex function, there are many minima: global minima, local minima, and saddle point. Saddle point is a stationary point, but not an extremum. So saddle points create problems in minimization. Saddle point problem. A geometrical intuition derived from low dimensional physical world is not always enough because saddle point is rare in low dimensional problem but as we go to higher dimensions the ratio of number of saddle points to local minima increases exponentially there are several methods to find minimum we will focus on generalized trust region method comparison between methods first steepest gradient descent method as we can see from the graph the function reaches to minima but it takes lot of iterations second newton method it is a saddle point attractive method you can see from the graph that in the first iteration itself the function reaches to saddle point it will never go to minima classical trust region method as you can see from the graph that function reaches to minima with very few number of iterations generalized trust region method it is an extension of classical trust method in this method we allow minimization of first order taylor expansion instead of always relying on second order taylor expansion with an extra constraint on norm of step length delta theta the taylor expansion of a function around a critical point is given by this expression where first order term is 0 and h is a hessian matrix so our optimization problem is given as this expression such that distance between theta and theta plus delta theta is less than some delta where delta is some small real number now hessian matrix hessian is a square matrix which contains partial second order partial derivatives and its eigen values are real the four possibility for eigen values is as follow this optimization problem can be formulated as follows now how far from theta can we trust the first order approximation the distance measured should contain the second order information to do this we subtract the first order taylor approximation with second order taylor approximation the above optimization problem can be modified to this expression now notice the change in the condition to get further insights please see the reference one the constrained optimization problem gives the step to be this expression this optimization is intractable in high dimension problem because inverse of hessian matrix in high dimension is intractable now how do we solve this optimization problem this problem can be solved using linear algebra concept that is solution using krillo subspace method where krillo subspace is space spanned by the vectors b a b a square b where a is n cross n matrix and r is the dimension of krillo subspace now steps to get the r set of vectors start with the vector b multiply the vector b by a to get ab second vector multiply the vector ab by a to get a square b repeat r minus 1 time all modern iterative method uses this subspace for finding eigen values in large system of linear equations now how do we use krillo subspace for optimization problem in high dimension consider a linear sub system ax equal to b optimization problem is minimization of norm of b minus ax such that x belongs to n dimensional space 
the approximation would be minimize the norm of phi minus ax such that x belongs to r dimension that is x belongs to krillo subspace where x is linear combination of all the basis vector in krillo subspace so the equivalent optimization problem is this expression this high dimensional optimization problem is not easy to do so the same optimization can be done in lower dimension using krillo subspace let us see a numerical example to understand the krillo subspace method this is a matlab code where a is 50 cross 50 matrix and b is a column vector with dimension 50 in the krillo subspace the first vector was considered to be b we change the krillo subspace dimension from 1 to 10 and see how the error varies that is the residue in the graph we observe that at 5 dimension the error is 10 power minus 6 This, so the same optimization problem was done in low dimension so the krillo subspace helps in optimizing a high dimensional problem into a low dimensional problem so these are the references in this video we have covered identifying and attacking the saddle point problem in high dimensional non convex optimization for further more detail please refer this reference thank you